Hey guys, it's Aiden and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple pixelation effect using the Universal Render Pipeline Shader Graph Editor. So let's get started. So the first things first, let me just show you how this effect works. So um, this effect works on any sprite you throw at it. So for example, I'm just going to show you already something. It doesn't even matter that what kind of sprite it is. It doesn't even need to be like pixelated. The main goal of it is that we want to pixelate it on its own using a shader. Um, but this sprite is already pixelated, but you get the idea. Like I'm just gonna show you, and after that, I'm also gonna be showing you with that uh, normal YouTube icon you were to see there, like this one right over here. So yeah, let me just show you how it works. So um, if you drag and drop the shader with the material on anything that you wanna do, it's customized. It's customizable and dynamic. Automatically selects the main texture. So as you can see, by controlling the value, I can upscale it or downscale it. Like mainly, uh, this shader works is that it takes off like every small value and converts them into a single digit value like there are mo there won't be any numbers after the point like there won't be any decimal numbers i don't even know what i'm saying but oh my god i mean oh my god i hate my life but uh you get the idea so uh this is how it works this works for everything like i said before so um yeah let's get started so um uh first of all let's create a shader with, um, you also need to make sure that you hold your project is set up for universe, you know, like universal pipeline. Select a lid or an unlit shader depending on if you want to interact with light or not. So I'm, I wanted to interact with light, so yeah, I'm gonna create a lit one. And uh, let's rename it to something that you want. Forgive my poor knowledge of Unity, I'll make a lot of mistakes, but forgive me. So first of all, let me just create a material already. I'm just gonna call it whatever I wanna. You can call it whatever you want as well. So once that is done, assign this material to the object that you want to pixelate. So for in my case, this tree over here. So once you do it, it would look like something like this. But don't worry about it, we're gonna just fix it right in a few seconds. So once you double click and open up the shader, it should, should, it should like look something like this. Let me just create, from here you need to create a texture 2D, like a public value. So let's create a texture, sample texture, call it whatever you want, and then create a float and call this float um, like, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'm just gonna call it pixelation now. After that, create a sample texture 2D from here. So once you do that, drag and drop the sample texture value from there and then connect it with the texture 2D. Now create the RGB to the base color connected and also the A also stands for alpha to the alpha of the, this thing, fragment thing. So once that is done, you need to go to the reference, set an underscore main text this is what you need to write make sure you write it accurately so that it automatically selects the uh, main texture so once that is done you need to select any reference image it doesn't even matter what which one you select just select any then save the asset just close it and as you can see the weird effect has been fixed now it's time for the pixelation effect so keeping it all like this we need to create a new node hit spacebar or just click on it use or type in UV and you should get this node so once you do that UV node you just need to um, make sure like uh, drag and drop the pixelation amount from here so once that is done we need to multiply these two together and we're gonna use a multiply node for that multiply well, this node basically uh, multiplies two different nodes and makes one single output single output now we need a floor node this is gonna be the thing that's gonna like do the pixelation for us by turning every number into a single digit number like so after that we're gonna divide it with the uh, value of our pixelation effect so let me just select it on any one on the top down like on y and this one on the x-axis so once that is done um you should get the output and select this output and just like it should look something like this but you need to just add x here and set it to something like 10 in my case, I think this looks fine. So if it everything looks like this, then you've done it correctly. That connected to the UV, and it should look something like this. Now you just need to save the asset, cross it, and now when you select on the shader, you should see something like this, and the main shade is sprite is gone. So when you uh, play with the value, as you can see, the sprite comes back, and like this, as you can see now, we can change it the uh, pixel and dimensions of the sprite that the material is assigned to. You can create multiple like materials and add in to multiple things. You can also create that really cool like wind effect with this, with some Vernomi notes and stuff. 
But yeah, this is just the base of it. Like how you can create this really cool pixelation effect. And in my opinion, it looks really cool. Especially if you're not good at pixel art, you can just use this to pixelate anything that you want. It doesn't even need to be on the pixel art like style on its own. So yeah, as you can see YouTube logo, it's a simple logo and I pixelated it with this shader. So yeah, that's all for today and thank you for watching. If this was helpful, make sure you subscribe, like, or I don't know, just chill out, I guess. And congratulations if you made this far. The project link, like project download link will be also given in the description in case you want to download and like, try it out for yourself. Like, if you're as lazy as I am, then you probably would want to do that. So um, yeah, the entire shader and the material and everything and all, it would be linked in the description, not the entire project. There will be just the uh, shader so that you don't have to download a lot of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching.